hi welcome to Banida's kitchen what I'm going to be making for you today is Newfoundland traditional fish cakes uh, fish cakes are made with salt cod uh, potatoes onions uh, you can also use uh, fat uh, from uh, pork it's called uh, pork belly um, what I'll do now is get started by putting uh, about a cup and a half of salt fish into some water to boil and it's been soaking overnight and I got about six potatoes that I'm going to cut off and put into another pot and get that boiling so as we can start making our fish cakes. Okay so we got a cup and a half of salted fish I'm going to be putting this into a small pot it was soaking overnight um, put it on medium eat and let it go for about 10 to 15 minutes and in my other pot I'm going to put uh, six small potatoes and I got it cut up in cubes um, also don't let that happen <laughs> also put about a half a teaspoonful of salt into this water um, to help with your potato again we're dealing with salted fish so you don't need much Okay, I'm going to be putting a, a half of a medium onion into my potato. I got a, again, I put about a half a teaspoon full of salt in there. Let that boil for 10-15 minutes till soft. And of course the fish is a cup and a half. And let that boil for about 10-15 minutes. And I'll see you back here in a few and we'll check on it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is while we're waiting for the fish and the potatoes to boil, I'm going to put a teaspoon full of butter in my pan. Add about a teaspoonful of olive oil and we'll put our, our um, half of onion that I chopped earlier into the pan. I want to get this sauteed so we can mix it together with our fish and with uh, the potato. So while this is sauteing, um, I'll see you back here in a few minutes. Like our onions are starting to all come together caramelized nice. I'm going to add a few pinches of black pepper and continue letting that saute. The fish and potatoes are done. I just touched it with the knife to see if it's tender. So it's nice and tender. So I'm going to turn it off. We'll drain it, bring it to my counter and we'll start mixing it all together. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so I just drained the water off our salt fish. And I drained it off our potato, so I just got it sitting there to let it cool. So what we're going to do now is, I'll show you that you just shave away pieces of the salt fish. Now, when you get your salt fish, whether you buy it at the local market or you, you know somebody that got it, um, a local fisherman, Make sure there's no bones in the fish when you're boiling it. If so, you'll need to debone it before. So pretty much what I'm doing here now is breaking it apart. And the pieces that I got is no bones in it. And it'll look something like this. Continue doing this. And we'll add it all together with our potato. I'm just going to move this to the side. And what I'm going to do here while this is cooling... I'm going to add the potato into my large bowl. I'm going to put a tablespoonful of butter, probably three, four cracks of pepper. I'm going to put a two tablespoonfuls of savory, and you get this in your local market as well just superstore or whatever your local market is and I'm going to mash all of this together until it's all incorporated. You'll need to wait until it's cooled to room temperature before you start to make the patties. It's going to look something like this. So we'll also, we'll take the fish which is all shaved, we're going to scrape it down into our bowl. Of course it's going to look something like this. And I'm going to mix all of this together. So continue mixing all of this together. What I'm going to do now is get my sautéed onion 
and I'm going to pour this into that as well. So we're going to put all of our onion, it's a, it's a half onion chopped into small pieces. We're going to put it all into this mixture as well and continue mixing. We don't need to add any salt. Remember this is salt cod we're using. We use pepper. You can use more pepper to your taste. We'll continue mixing it. I got all this mixed together. Um, um, taste your mixture. Make sure that it's it's good enough for you because like you said you might need a little bit more pepper I need a little bit more pepper in it so I'm going to go a few more dashes also for salt if you had soaked it overnight um, it do take the salt out of your fish so if you want a little bit more it's perfect for me I'm going to be putting one large egg into the mixture and mix all of that together this will this will combine all of your mixture, your potatoes and fish, your onion and savory of course, all together nicely. And it seems like it's just about room temperature there so I can almost start making my patties and I'm going to be rolling it into flour. Okay, so I'm going to be taking about a half a cup of flour um, and this is just to roll the fish cakes into. Um, what we'll do now is I'll show you what we'd need for to make our patties. Okay, so I put about a half a cup of flour in. You can add pepper, you can add seasonings, whatever you like. I just got a scoop. I'm going to scoop up a nice alping of the fish mixture. Um, and again, the patties depends on you what size you would like. I like it about this size. And you take it and roll it into your flour it all through and then just put it off to the side and what we're going to be doing there I'll continue making these what we're going to be doing there is taking it back to my frying pan and we'll we'll put uh, put it there until it's golden golden brown we continue again rolling it and um, I'm going to continue rolling these and meet me back here in a couple of minutes and we'll start frying it my last fish cake. It looks like I'm going to make about 12 out of this mixture. That's a cup and a half of salt cod soaked overnight. Six medium potatoes. Um, I did two tablespoonfuls of savory pepper. Salt to taste if you uh, wish to have it. Um, fish cakes is a, a traditional meal that uh, most Newfoundlanders enjoy and, and enjoy any time of the day, breakfast, dinner or supper. Um, you can serve it with eggs, it's delicious uh, uh, that way. Um, I'm going to take these fish cakes now over to my uh, fryer and, um, and start frying them. Okay, so we're going to be using butter again. Butter is one of your main ingredients. Teaspoonful of butter. I always use about the teaspoonful of olive oil because it helps the butter not burn. I'm going to reach for my fish cakes. There they are, they're absolutely delicious. Uh, let the butter just melt around in the pan. So we don't want to over stock the fryer. We, you just put about four in at a time so as you can equally fry. It looks something like this. I'm going to add just a little tiny bit of pepper while it's frying. So uh, depending on medium meat, you don't need it any higher than that because you don't want them to burn. Uh, let them turn golden brown on one side and flip them over and turn golden brown on the other side. And again, remember, you want to stay with it while you're frying and you don't need to have enough on a eat. Okay, so let's let that start frying. Okay, so now I'm going to flip over my fish cakes. They all look delicious. And it's golden brown. Um, on one side, so continue doing the same with the other side till it's golden brown. Um, I'm going to finish frying up my fish cakes. There's uh, 12 in this batch. And if you need to add more butter and olive oil, you can do it. But right now, it looks like it's still pretty good. They look absolutely delicious. Look how nice and golden brown they are on this side. Okay, I believe our fish cakes are ready. I'm going to get them from the stove. They look absolutely delicious. So I'm going to put 
two on my plate. So what you can also do, you can serve these fish cakes with ketchup, you can serve it with mustard pickles, and like I said, you can fry a put with it over the top. Um, they're pretty hot there now, but I'm, I'm going to have a little taste. Mmm, absolutely delicious. So, um, thank you for joining me for Bonita's Kitchen. Um, please try this recipe, share it with your friends and family. And if you like more flavor into your fish cakes, you can add, like you said, more spice. But this is our traditional Newfoundland way of making them. Thank you once again for joining me, and you have a wonderful day.